Hi, this is Jason from Effective Dashboards. Welcome back to the next video. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use these help buttons here to create visual overlays or guided tours that allow you to show the user how to use certain aspects of your dashboard. Okay, let's crack on. So the first thing we're going to do is we've got to get an image of this screen here, and that's going to be an image that we're going to use a template for laying our help overlay images on top of. So to do that, I've published this to the Power BI service. We go into view and we go to full screen. And then we just use a snipping tool to take a, a screenshot of this entire screen here. So I'm using Snip and Sketch, which comes as part of the Windows. And we just click on new and we just take a screenshot of this. Okay, we can see that that is now in our clipboard. The next thing we do is we copy that and paste it into a blank PowerPoint template. So I've pasted it into PowerPoint. You need to make sure that when you go and I think it's under design, just make sure the size is this widescreen size, ratio 16 by 16 to 9. And once you've done that, then you can start to create these overlays. So I've just created an Ado and I've created a text box. And we're pointing that at the, the safety um, or the work with the quality slicer. So I've created one of these for each of the overlays that I want to create. And then for each one, I've deleted the background and I've added in a transparent grey background. Okay, so that was just a, it's just an image. And once you've got the image or the, the shape, a rectangular shape, you can go into that shape and you go to shape fill, um, more colours and we just, I've just sat that at an 80% transparent. Yeah, ingredient. So that's to allow the dashboard to show through when this overlay is actually activated. So we're going to go and export that. So how, how we do that is we click in here and we just, if you click, click Control and A to select all, and then you right click on here, save picture as, and then you just save it as these different, um, as a file, PNG portable network graphic format is what I've what it defaults to and what I've saved it as and then we just click OK to save that into a folder. So I've done that for each one of these. So we're back in a Power BI at desktop report here and we are going to start adding in these overlays. So the first thing we need to do is add in the or activate the bookmark and the selection options. So underneath this, this view option we're going to activate these these um, these panes at the side here. And this these two panes are, the, are what we're going to use to allow us to create this effect. So we've got a bookmark here and we've got the list of all of the visuals. So this selection pane allows you to select each of the different visuals and decide if you want to show them or hide them. And we're just going to use the bookmarks to toggle between hiding and showing the different visualizations which are going to be representing our help. So let's insert the first one. So we go to insert shape, uh, so the image, and we're going to go and insert our first help image. And we're just going to go and add that in here and expand it. Okay. So you can see here that that has now expanded and it covers the screen there. Uh, the border's off, the back, yeah, everything's off, so that's fine. And I'm going to go and re, I'm going to go and call this something that's going to help us to identify it. So we'll double click on the actual selection and we'll call this help one. Okay. Now we're going to add a bookmark and we're going to call this bookmark home and um, and this is going to be the bookmark that is going to be the default and we're going to go and use that as the, the kind of reset so whenever we want to get rid of this or whenever we come to the end of this then this is going to be the bookmark we're going to use. The other thing I'm going to do is actually add in a button that allows us to select this so just to make it slightly smaller to begin with and let's just go and add in a button here this help button I'm going to move it across to the top corner here. 
So that's a good location because it's slightly out of the way, but this is really where people go and look instinctively for, for, for that type of information, help and other sorts of information. So we're going to po probably start adding to this over time, but let's just add this question mark here and we will go into the, the visualization format and we'll remove the background. And the other thing we're going to do is we're going to go and we're going to add an action onto here. And that action is going to be where we're going to activate this overlay. So before we do that, we need to add in a bookmark and we'll cover this back up again. And just make sure that's covered in everything, that's fine. And this bookmark is going to be the bookmark the button is going to activate. So we're going to call this help one. And I am going to simply right click on here and update. Okay, so that help one is now going to show this. It's going to be a bookmark that's going to show this overlay. So if we go to home, we don't want this overlay being shown. So we're going to go and click on the, the view button here. And we're going to hide it. And then we're going to click on the three dots here, click update. Now you've got to remember to click that update anytime you make some changes. And we can see, okay, so that help shows the, the overlay and this hides it. We can see there's a subtle change in color, background color, and that just helps us understand that we're in a different mode of operating. And again, also prevents us from being able to interact with the dashboard while this help overlay is on. So let's go into our button here. And now we can see that action is uh, available. And if we go into, oh, sorry, it's near that one. It's this action above. Click on for action. And we've got an action type. And we've got all sorts of options here. But the one we want to select is a bookmark. Now we then want to select help one as the bookmark. And in the tooltip, we can also put in some text. Something like that. So we've got that now, and if we hold the control button, so we can see as we hover across this, click to view help overlay. If we hold down control and press the button, then it appears here, which is great, exactly what we want to do. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is we need to get another bookmark because we want the, the sequence of the three help overlays to be chained together. So we need another bookmark, so let's add a bookmark. And then let's go and insert an image. We'll hide this image here, this help image here. And let's insert another image. So that'll be help number two. And we'll just make it the size of the page. Now because we've created this... Oh, ah. Hold on a second, I've created help number two, the same as help number one. Okay, I'll delete that. And we'll add in an image. I've re-exported that image, so this should be the right one this time, hopefully. Yeah, here we go. Perfect. So let's move it to the bottom. Move this to the top. And yeah, because of, on, in the PowerPoint presentation, I created these uh, with an overlay or with the underlay of this image of the dashboard. So that means they are more or less pointing to the right places when we see them. Um, we're going to change this. And we'll call this help2. And we'll change this bookmark as well. And we'll call this help2. Okay, so we can see that help1 has now got both of these. So we need to get rid of one of these. So in help1, we only want to see the image help1. So let's get rid of help two and just update. And then in help two bookmark, we only want to see help two. So let's get rid of help one and click on update. So it's just a case of hide, showing and hiding the things or the, the, the screen elements that you want to see. And that's why it's important to name these. So we've got, um, we can easily identify them and hide the correct ones. Okay, so we've got help one and help two. So if we click on help one, 
and then click on help two. Great. So we go to help one and we click on the image and what we're going to do there is on the action, we're going to click on this action and on the action, we're going to activate the bookmark, which will be help two. And we'll just say click to move on. Click to move on. And if you can see here, if we go back to home, uh, oh, we need to hide home two from home as well, which is fine. Just update that. So if we go to home, hold control, click on this button here. And we can see it activated this bookmark here, which is showing this value, this um, this visual here. If we hold control and click, we can see it's now activated the second bookmark, which is hidden help one and is now showing help two. And then we'll add in help three. OK, so I've gone through this and I've updated all of the bookmarks. So let's just cycle through them. Help one. Um, or so the home page has got nothing showing. Help one should only have the first one. Help two should only have the second one. And help three should only have the third one. Excellent. So now we need, just need to make sure that when you click on help two, the action is to activate help three. So we go to bookmark. And then in here, we're going to go to help three. And we'll just click on the click to move on. Okay, so that should then allow us to go back to help two, hold down the control, and yep, yeah, it's activated help three. And then for help three, what we need to do here in this visual for help three is use the action to go to bookmark, which is home. So click to move on and that should be us now ready to publish this okay so i'll just go back to home hold down control click the button here keep control selected and just make sure each one of these works and it goes back to the start brilliant so we go to home and we're going to go to publish and do you want to save yes we're going to save this And we're going to publish it to my workspace just for testing. So just click on the link here and then we can see that this is now available. So we click on here and then we click on each one of these anywhere on the screen really. And it guides us through and takes us back to the start again. Okay, so lots of possibilities here. This could be as long as you wanted to. It's, um, it's just a, a really useful feature that you can have allow you to just provide your user with that at the point of need um, help on how to use the dashboard particularly for some of the the features that um, aren't so obvious you know holding down control to select multiple um, the multiple filters it's sort of something people are, struggle with and the other one here is how to access the drill through so it's another thing that people kind of sometimes struggle with and isn't really that intuitive until you know how to do it okay thanks for listening if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. I'd really appreciate that. It's really helpful. And if you want to keep up to date with my videos that I release more or less once a week, then by all means subscribe and click the bell and you'll be kept up to date and notified whenever I release a new video. I will talk to you in the next video.